uh, you know, people are not, this thing about wanting things fast, very often they don't want it complicated. Yes, I know. I know they, yeah. they don't want to break their heads upon yeah, some They don't want to think too much about it, right? Yes, yes. yes. They, they, all, they want a, a visceral, uh, gut wrenching. If it's funny, it needs to be really funny and quick. If it's scary, it needs to be really scary and quick. And uh, if it's sexy, it needs to be really sexy and quick. And it's almost like everything is down to the level of a, of, of a, of a hit song, you know, two yes. and a half minutes of a pop song. Uh, one minute wonder or one hit wonder, you can call yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's wrong. Well, that's wrong. A lot too, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yeah. this movie proved that uh, you can make some brilliant stuff uh, because it's uh, psychological, it's uh, twisted, it's horror, it's dark, it's really uh, uh, screwed up. I mean, uh, you have three different stories intertwined yep. into one, uh, I mean, mixed up into yep. one story, which is really great. Like uh, you said, it's an anthology or anti-anthology. Uh, I think anti-anthology, anti -anthology. Anthology. it's interesting, just the first story, the Books of Blood story, yes. should be at the beginning, shouldn't it? Yes, it, yes, yes, yes. It isn't, and, and that is brilliant too, I think, because you realize when you do get to that story, oh, wait a second, I'm seeing this movie backwards. Yes, definitely. So, uh, right. so uh, uh, I think the the accent is on the story with uh, the girl. With uh, how do you completely. call it? Yeah. Yes. Completely. Yeah. The, the, the the hallucinations yeah. and everything. And uh, I really love the atmosphere. I really love the the house and the people buried in the walls and in the floor and everywhere. And uh, now uh, that was it, just so you know. Um, there was one story, The Books of Blood, obviously, which I have written. Yeah? It, yeah. it existed in The Books of Blood. Yeah. But the other stories were stories that I created for this uh, and told to Brannon um, uh, in our meetings. And uh, so I had um, two stories, two, two ideas, really, uh, both of which were based in Britain because they happened in Britain. Uh, one of which was about the bodies in the walls, yeah. uh, which was something that had happened in England about 23, 24 years ago. And it was, it was a, re a, real, a real thing. And, um, and the one with the cockroaches, you know, because they also come out of the walls, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my grandmother, when she was very old, uh, had another friend who was very old who was bedridden, she couldn't move out of bed. And she said, something is talking to me at night. And people just laughed, you know. And she said, no, no, you don't understand that they have a code, they're talking a code to me at night. And uh, it turned out when she died and they moved to bed, that the big bed head, which was very big, the old fashioned Victorian bed was, was concealing uh, a vast m nest of cockroaches. Mm. So what she was hearing was thousands of cockroaches, not on the walls, but in the walls. In the walls. Yeah, sort of communicating with each other by scratching and doing whatever cockroaches do, you know? And so that when the lights got turned out at night,